Okay, so the point of sleep. Um, I've been relying on my alarm clock to wake me up. Uh, the past. No way. And there it goes. Cool. Give me a second. Okay, so I thought I even turned that off, but I guess I didn't, and that was perfect. <laughs> um, shit like that has been happening my whole life, and that's how I started interpreting meaning on to shit like, oh god, it means so much. Anyhow, um, I've been relying on my alarm clock to wake me up, and as you can see, I'm up and my alarm clock's going, so I did not rely on it today. Um, the past two days, or actually the past day and today, um, I've just, like, allowed my alarm clock to set a certain amount of time for me to sleep, and I would rely on that alarm to wake me up. But now, I'm relying on my body to wake me up. And, uh, okay, so the past night I worked until like 7 in the morning. And, uh, so I got home and I fell asleep at like 7.30 and I didn't set an alarm. And I was just gonna say, alright, I'm gonna let my body wake me up and, uh, see how long I've slept and see where I go from there. So, um, I woke up at 11, so I slept about, like, three and a half hours, and, um, I actually participated in the whole day without napping, and I would usually nap, just because I, I hit this, like, point in time where I find nothing to do, um, and... I think about sleep, I'm like, what can I do to pass time? <laughs> What's a effective way to pass time and it's sleep? Um, but anyhow, that didn't happen yesterday because I, yeah, I just pushed myself through it. And um, so today I, I, like, I thought I shut off my alarm clock, but obviously I didn't, but so the starting point was relying on my body to wake me up and uh, it worked quite effectively. Um, again, I fell asleep at 1 o'clock and woke up at 4, so I slept 3 hours. And, uh, yeah, as I was eating breakfast, there was a point of wanting to fall asleep because, again, I didn't think of anything to do. I'm like, oh, Okay, now I have like four, or no, I have like six hours before um, this world opens up <laughs> and I can go out and go do stuff. Um, and so I, I thought, like, yeah, what can I do to pass the time? What can I, yeah, what can I escape time with, from within? And I can escape time within sleeping. So that's what I wanted to do, but I knew that I didn't really want to because I wanted to apply myself. Um, so yeah, the allowing my body to wake me up is quite enjoyable because even like when my alarm clock would go off, I'd be like, oh. I don't want to get up, and then I'd force myself to get up, and during that whole day, I would be a lot less effective, because I would be, like, kind of moping around, and kind of really stuck in my mind, not being here. So if you're trying to do six hours, um, start with an alarm clock. Then for me, it's been probably about like 
to three weeks or so and um, just stop using an alarm and get up when your body gets you up. It's, it's a lot easier to do because if you ever had if you've had those nights where you kind of wake up to go pee and like you immediately do it you don't like think about it at all you don't want to stay in bed and just have a few more hours of comfortable sleep with a uncomfortable bladder um, but if you've had that night where you just get up and go piss and within that you immediately wake up and it's hard to fall back asleep that's what um, yeah that's what waking up from your body is like um, you immediately get up and you go there's no thoughts of oh I just want a few more minutes of sleep and then it turns into a few hours it's um, it's an effective way to get up is just allowing yourself to get up to wake up when you need to wake up and I mean three and a half hours and I went the whole day yesterday um, that was from like 11 to 1 so that was 14 hours today is going to be a lot longer so I'll vlog at the end of the day about if I slept or how I've been throughout the day.